Today we are going to be making this horror jump scare. When the player gets within a certain range, the AI will run at the player and play this jump scare sound effect. And to make it more intimidating, we also created this flickering light. Alright, so first we are just going to create the blueprint of the AI. Just give it a name and then open it up. Now add your mesh. Just change these values to negative 90. Very important, make sure to change this to use animation asset. Now just change this to an idle animation because we want this to be the default animation. Compile and save and then just place your AI into the level. Go back into your blueprint, delete this. Now create this custom event and name it something like chase player. Drag off the pin and get this AI move to node. Pawn will be self. And the target actor will be the player character. When the AI reaches the player, then we want to destroy the actor. And now move this over. Set custom time dilation, and this will be the speed of the AI. And then you want to play the running animation when the AI is targeting the player. Compile and save. Open up your viewport, add a box collision. Scroll down, click this. Here we are checking if the actor that is overlapping the box collision is equal to the player character. And if it is, then this branch will be true. And if it is true, then we want to call the chase player custom event. Now open up your level, make sure that the AI is selected, then go into the details panel, select your box collision, then adjust your box collision. Add a nav mesh so that your AI can have a way to navigate. Press play and give it a test. Now let's go ahead and create the flickering light material. Open it up. Change the surface to light function. Add this time node. Get this multiply. Hold 1 and left click to get this constant node. This will be the value of the flickering speed. Get the sign node. Then off of that, get a frac node. And then connect that into the emissive. Apply and save. Hold Ctrl and L while holding left mouse button to change the directional light. Add a spotlight. Now adjust your spotlight. Now go into the details panel and add the material to the spotlight. Now open up your AI blueprint, add the spotlight variable, make it a spotlight, and then select the object reference, make the variable public, compile and save, and now go to the ending of the AI move to node. Now drag your spotlight into the graph, when the AI reaches the player, then we want to destroy the spotlight. Compile and save, now open up your level. Go into the details panel, scroll down until you see the spotlight variable. Click on the dropper and then select your spotlight. Press play and give it a test. I just opened a discord for our community. It's a welcoming spot to connect, share your journey, ask questions, and just enjoy the game dev grind together. Link is in the description. Now add your sound effects. The link to this specific one will be in the description. Move this over. Now get a play sound node. When the AI reaches the player, then we want to play this jump scare sound effect. And now press play and give it a test. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment with your thoughts or questions. I'll catch you in the next one.